Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is trim a binary search tree. Very easy problem. So uh, we are given the root of binary search tree and the lowest and the highest boundaries as low and high. Trim the tree so that all the elements lies in low high range. Trimming the tree should not change the relative structure of the elements that will remain in the tree. That is any nodes descendant should remain a descendant. It can be proven that there is a unique answer. Return the root of the trimmed binary search tree. So we have to return the root. Note that root may change depending on the given bounds. Okay, so what the problem is, right? Let's say this binary search tree is given. So since it's a binary search tree, right? It's binary search tree. So we know that the uh, binary search has property that the root value or the parent value is uh, greater than the left child value right and root or parents value is less than the right child value all the values in the right subtree or you can say the right child value and this property applic uh, applies to all the nodes right this node also this node also this node also so this is binary search tree uh, now see here let's take this is a BST and the range which we have given uh, which is given to us is 1 to 2 both inclusive so these both are inclusive so we have to only in this BST right only those nodes should be there the, whose values lies between this range that is 1 lies in this range 2 lies in this range but 0 is not in this range right 0 is less than 1 so this zero node should go. So final output should be one and two. That is earlier the left child of this one. Earlier the left child of this one was zero. But now since zero is not in this range, zero will not be uh, the left child of one. And here it will be null. Okay. So I hope you understood the problem. Let's see one more test case. So uh, let's say we have this test case. Okay. This is a BST. And here, let's say we have to, the range is 1 to 4. Range is 1 to 4. So first of all, see, see guys, from this test case, now we'll think of the approach. So just carefully see this. This is 3, right? 3, this is root. Root right now is what? Right now root is 3. 3 lies in this range. Right, 3 lies in this range. Na? So we have to take 3, this, we, this node we have to take. So right now, tree is like this, 3. Now we have to go to the left also and we need to go to the right also. Obviously, right? We have to go to left also and we have to go to right also so that we can make the rest of the tree, right? So when I say we have to go to the left and right means we have to do the recursive call. Recursive call on left also and right also. Right. So see guys, uh, if you remember, always what I say is that whenever tree problem is there, na, so you have to always visualize tree as something like this. That is we have root and something is there on the left, like this is your left subtree and this is your right subtree. So we have to always visualize tree like this. We have to not worry about what is on the left side or what is on the right side. Just we need to work on the root. And the rest of the things left and right part recursion will handle. Okay. So for this there could be many cases for this root. Right now we saw that the root value. See root value was lying in the range. That is it was less than equal to low. And it was uh, less uh, great. Sorry it was greater than equal to low. And it was less than equal to high right. That is it was lying in this range. So what we did then. In that case what we did we have to make recursive call on the left side this left subtree and and we have to make a recursive call on the right side okay and whatever this left recursive call will give us that we will update as this roots left okay for example it might happen that this two is not the left after uh, like uh, removing the nodes and all that so then the left child of this three will change so what we need to do is when we are making the recursive call, so I am writing it like this recursive call in which we will pass roots left because we are making on the right now this is root right. 
so we have to make the uh, call on the left uh, uh, child left subtree so we will pass this as root so roots left and low and high we will pass so this will be the recursive call but now whatever this recursive call will re uh, give us right we will update that as roots left because whatever this this whole recursive call will give us that we will update as this this roots left okay uh, this is if condition so this this is one case when the the root value was lying in the range or lying in the range now let's see another test uh, another case so just think guys i uh, will re represent tree in this way only we will see after, uh, first we will see using that and then we will see the example so let's say this is your root this is your left and this is your right okay now see guys right earlier we saw that this root value was in the range what if this root value is not in the range for example range is 1 comma 4 na M might happen that root value is 0 so if root value is 0 what we have to do think if root value is 0 this 0 is less than low right low is what 1 it's less than low meaning obviously it does not lies in this range so this node should we should not take right we should not take this this root right this we should not take so what we should take obviously see guys if this is root is 0 on the left side of this zero values will be smaller only na so there is no benefit of going to the left just think it like if this root is zero it might happen on the left side is minus 1 so obviously if zero is not in the range if zero is not in this range minus 1 will also be not in the range na because zero it's zero it is less than zero na and zero is itself not in the range but it might happen that on the right side of this zero we have one for example right we have one so even if we are not taking this zero because it does not lies in this range still we have to take this one right we have to take this one because this lies in the range so when else if if such thing happens that root value is less than low if this is a case then what we will return we will return see here i have missed it here it will be uh, one more case root right is equal 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 to the recursive call on the right half right i forgot that root right yeah coming back to this so here else if root value is less than low like here zero was less than 1 1 was low value so what we will do in that case we will not go to the left half obviously no benefit but we can go to the right half because it might happen that on the right half there is a value which lies in this range so return recursive call i'll do and in that i will only go for roots right low and high okay similarly similarly what another case could be let's say we have root this is left half and this is your right this is your right now see what happen let's say the root value is 5 root value is 5 range was 1 to 4 right so obviously 5 is not in the range but 5 is what else if this root value which is 5 is greater than high the whatever the high limit was high is 4 right so it is greater than high so in that case obviously here on the right side there will be 6 7 8 all these values which are greater than 5 on the right half on the right subtree so obviously those will not lie in the range but it might happen that on the left side we have 4 4 lies in this range so no benefit in going to the right side we will only go to the left side so we will return recursive call root left low comma high so that's it guys this is the logic which we will be using so see from this example only like from these uh, when you visualize tree like this just you need to think of what cases could be and it is that simple other approach which you can follow like uh, while thinking like of the approach is that you can dry run on the example as well so see if we take this example let me do one thing let me just erase this 
so or we can do one thing we can draw again only so this is the subtree which uh, the bst which we have is 3 2 1 and 0 and here it's 5 and 4 so the range is 1 comma 4 okay so see first of all this 3 root is currently here this 3 lies in this range so first of all what we decided we will make the left call and then we make the right call so left call root comes here now this 2 is in the range so again we will make the left call and we make the right call so first i am going to the left now root comes at 1 now this root this one also lies in this range so again we will make the left call and we make the right call so i will make the left call first root now this zero does not lie see this zero does not lies in this range this zero is less than one which is low so it might it there is no benefit in going to the left side i will just make recursive call on the right side so root will become null here root will be null so when root is null just simply return null so here we will return null so here now we go back and we make the right call for this one right is null also so it will return null update uh, obviously once uh, right we will update as null okay then we go back again two's right is null so it will return null only we go back we come to three now we are at three and we go to the right now see now here you will see so from here there this zero we have returned null here so now this con here this connection will not be there okay now see just over here we have five right so this five is not lying in this range right it does not lie in the range it's greater than high it's greater than high so we will go to the left half so i will not return five here i will return whatever the left of the call left call will return me so here four is there which lies in this range so here null i'll make the left call null it it returns null right call it returns null so 4 I will return and 4 will be 3's updated to be 3's right. 3's right will update to be 4. Okay. So this is how uh, this algorithm is working. Just dry run once you will, uh, it will become more clear. Let's see the code once. So see, in the code, uh, this is the base case, right? With root is null, we will be returning null, the base case. Then if the value root value lies in the range, then we do the left call, we do the right call uh, and obviously we update roots left roots right. So if you are getting confused right that why we are updating this, see here when we had we had this not 3, 5 and 4. So 5 is not lying here, 5 does not lie in the range so it will get removed, we will not take it and we will simply take this left but now this left value this will return 4 na but so this 4 needs to be now 3 is right 3 is right it needs to be but right now 3 is right is 5 so we have to update roots right that is roots right should become 4 equal to 4 root is here 3 okay that's why we are updating it as if if roots value is less than high then obviously no need to go to the right side we go to the left side and if it is uh, less than low obviously then we go to the right side and at last we can return root so i hope you understood the problem and the code very easy problem just you need to understand like how you have to approach it and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you